Hello, my creative friends. I'm Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com. Today, I'm going to be playing with a little bit of color and some inlay die cutting. I have here some Bristol cardstock and just a little cup of water and my water brush. I wanted to get some water brush strokes, so I just painted with water onto my cardstock. And now I've got some picked raspberry distressing. I just smooshed it into my craft mat. You can do any non-porous surface. I'm picking up a little bit of water with my paintbrush, rubbing it into that distress ink. And then I'm just putting down some brush strokes on my wet cardstock. I wanted this to be loose and flowing. It's just um, fading into the background. It didn't do exactly what I wanted, but I think that's the point of watercolor in me. It's just, you gotta let the watercolor do what it wants to do. <laughs> I wanted it to fade out and get lighter towards the edges, so I put down some spun sugar distress ink, it's a really light pink, and just added that to the edges. Now I'm just adding in some little dots of darker color, and I'm going to set this aside to dry. You can see it's really loose and watery. Um, you could also spritz it with some water to get that really flowing. Once this is dry, I'm going to take the Love Ya die. This is from Casual Fridays. It was in the first Stamp of Approval Friendship Collection, but now it is for sale in the Casual Fridays shop. So I'll give you some links over on my blog to that. Um, as you can see, there it is. It's dry. I die cut out the Love You. I also die cut the rectangle with a stitched rectangle die for my favorite things. Now, for the inlay die cutting technique I'm going to do, it was important to save the little negative pieces inside of the O and the uh, Y and the E. And I just put it on a piece of post-it tape and then I taped it to my background so hopefully I won't lose it. I want my love your sentiment to be red hot. So I <laughs> use some festive berries distressing smooshed it into my craft mat, and now I'm taking the uh, water bottle and just spritzing it, getting it wet, and dipping my sentiment upside down into that ink. You could use tweezers if you don't want your fingers to get all colored up, um, but I just used the tools I had. <laughs> it's a little bit light, so what I'm going to do is dry it and dip it into the ink again until I get the shade that I want. Layering the color on this way gives it a really nice depth and look. It's hard to capture in camera, but in person, it's just a little detail that's a nice added touch. If you run out of ink or it's too light, just um, smush it onto the grid mat again and repeat this process until you get the color and the depth and the look that you're going for. I am a big fan of post-it note tape. You can get this at most office supply stores. And what I'm using it for here is kind of like an extra handle. I just put the um, die cut onto the sticky side. And this will just kind of hold it in place and keep it from flipping upside down as I add glossy accents. I use the precision tip onto my glossy accents. Um, just to get a nice fine line and I'm going over the entire sentiment. I'm going to, when it's done, set it aside to dry and when it dries it turns this glossy, shiny with just a little bit of raised texture on it. It's really pretty. some more post-it tape that I have put behind the love ya with the sticky side up. This will help hold the die cut in place while the glue dries. In hindsight, I would have waited to add that tape until after I did my embossing, but I was going to, at first I just planned on doing some sponging, but then I changed my mind and decided to do some embossing paste. <laughs> it's a girl's prerogative, right? 
So I used some more of that post-it tape, told you, love the stuff, <laughs> to hold my background down to a piece of scrap paper. And now I'm using even more to tack my stencil down to my paper. This will keep it from moving and shifting as I add my embossing paste. The stencil was made by Winnie and Walter for the new Stamp of Approval Young at Heart collection. Um, it's called Harleen, the Harlequin stencil. Harleen, cute, right? <laughs> I love the stencil. Um, I'm not sure if there are any more of the collections available. This is exclusive to the collection and won't be released, I believe, for at least six months, possibly longer, not sure. Um, so if it's not sold out, you might want to get it now, but really you could use any stencil you wanted for this uh, background. I think falling hearts would be really cool, but I don't have falling hearts. So I took some translucent embossing paste and rubbed it over that stencil and I was trying to not be perfect. I didn't want every diamond filled. I wanted it to be, I don't even quite know the, the word to use, but rough around the edges. I didn't want it completely solid. And so here I'm just checking to see um, see if I like the way it's positioned. And I do. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up that stencil right away and set the piece aside to dry. For the inlay die cutting, I'm going to use some Ranger Multi Matte Medium. I have it in this bottle. It's a little bit bigger than the little one I normally use. And this bottle comes with a brush tip. So I thought I would show you just a comparison, size comparison there. Um, so I'm just going to use that brush tip and I'm going to go in uh, and just paint on basically this glue. It's okay if it goes outside the edges because um, it will dry matte and clear. But I am trying to stay on top of the post-it tape and not get it onto the distress ink because distress ink reacts with liquid. So even though it will dry clear, it will um, reactivate that ink that's underneath and, and move it around a little bit, which you'll end up seeing some of the some of the red gets onto my piece just because of the wet glue. But it's okay. It'll all work out. It'll look good. That's one of the nice things about doing kind of a rough look and not a perfected look. If you're going for perfection, it has to be perfection and clean and clear. If you're going for this loose, flowy, artistic look, then it's a little bit more forgiving. So as you see here, I'm taking those little pieces from the O and the E and the L that I put on my post-it tape. Woohoo! It's saved! <laughs> and I'm just putting them in between or into the negative spaces. I think that doing this really gives it a finished look. And by die cutting and coloring the die cut afterwards, um, it's just, I don't know, just a really nice custom made card that you can't get at the, at the grocery store. You really can't. It's something special. I think my husband's going to love this one. I push firmly and hold for a few seconds just to get that glue um, really good contact with the paper. And you can see as it hits the light that that clear translucent embossing paste is just gorgeous. Okay, I was just going to adhere it to the card with some dimensionals and then I decided I wanted a black stripe black and white stripe down the side of my card so I went and grabbed this border die this is also from Winnie and Walter I think it's called holiday trimmings I'm not 100% sure it was another thing that was um, in a stamp of approval collection the Christmas collection but I think it's for sale already so like I said I'll have links to everything below I'm just going to line it up with the left hand side and as you saw I put a little post-it tape across the top so that it wouldn't stamp onto the back of my card. And I did one line and thought mm, that's not quite enough so again I inked it up with VersaFine ink and I'm going to stamp it down a second time right beside it. 
And then I will add my card front and my card will be done. In this close-up, you can really see the texture and dimension you get, yet this will mail flat, so you won't need extra postage. I love that. Um, I added a little heart sequin and uh, popped it up, like I said, with dimensionals, and that is my card today. Uh, if you like my card, be sure and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more from me. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you find some time today to get a little bit creative and spread some love. <laughs> Bye!